Hi, and welcome back to Admitison. Now, the last week we made a video on how to get started with Kahoot. Now, for those of you using Canvas, today we're going to talk about a workaround that allows you to embed your Kahoots into your Canvas classrooms. Typically, when we want to add an app into our Canvas classrooms, we can add it as an external tool. However, in the case of Kahoot, it's not supported as an external tool. So we need to do this quick little workaround in order to embed it into one of our assignments. So let's get started today and let's get those cahoots into your classrooms. In our last video on Kahoot, we talked about using Kahoots in a live classroom, whether that's in an online setting or in the brick and mortar environment. Today, we're going to assign the Kahoot. What that means is that we're going to allow for students to take it on their own time and have a deadline set or due date for the end of the Kahoot. Now, these can be assigned as assignments or they can also be utilized as review sessions. I love using Kahoots for my reviews because rather than assigning a point value to it, I like the fun competition between the students in a way that engages them without a whole lot of pressure. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to assign the Kahoot. And then we're going to embed that into our Canvas classroom. The first thing that we want to do is go ahead and find the Kahoot that we want to share with our students. I created this one just recently, and I'd like to share that in my classroom today. I'll open up the Kahoot, and then over on the left-hand side, it says Play. We have two options, remember, when we click on Play. We have Teach and Assign. In our past video, as I mentioned, we talked about the Teach option, which allows you to present the Kahoot and have students play in real time. Today, though, we're going to look at the Self-Paced Learning option and we're going to click on Assign. After clicking on Assign, you have different options to adjust the challenge to your students. You can set the date and the time for when it's due. So after this due date, the Kahoot will automatically close out. You also have the ability to add a question timer or no timer at all, randomize the order, and a nickname generator. After you have your date and time set and all of your options ready to go, click on Create. On the report page here is where you're going to see all of the information after your students start taking it. So you're going to see who has taken it and you're going to see the results as well. In order for students to be able to take it though, we want to embed it into our Canvas classroom. And that's where the URL comes in. So go ahead and click on the copy URL. And then we're going to go to a different website called iframe generator. iframe generator takes a link and provides you with an embed code. I will provide the link to the iframe generator below to help you out. Let's go ahead and paste our URL, and then we're going to generate. You can now see that we have an embed code generator. Go ahead and copy it, and then we're going to head into our Canvas classroom. In our Canvas classroom, you can see that I'm looking at my assignments right now. Now, I've created a new assignment group called Kahoots, just to make things a little bit easier and more streamlined. Now, for the sake of organization today, I've created a group called Kahoots. Now, based on how your classes are set up, you might want to put it in another group as well, especially if you're syncing to another grading system. But let's go ahead and add our Kahoot here. You're going to click on the plus sign, and we see that we want to add an assignment. Go ahead and click on more options, and here is our new assignment page. We're going to name the assignment. Now, in the description box here is typically where we add the text about the directions and the assignment itself. Go ahead and click on Insert, and on down to Embed, paste your embed code, and then submit. And now you should see your Kahoot up here. The Kahoot is embedded, which means that students will need to access it via Canvas. However, if you want to provide them the link so that they can access it on their phone, that's completely fine as well. You can do so by heading back to the Kahoot page and providing them the game pin or the link as well. You can then add the link or the game pin below the embed if you wish. To add a link, go ahead and click on link, external link, and then done. You can also add the game pin there as well. Go ahead and adjust all the other settings. You don't necessarily need a submission type. Uh, because the Kahoot is embedded, it won't automatically go to speed grader like another external tool would. However, you can add for a online submission of a text entry if you want students to share the result from their Kahoot with you. You could then add this to SpeedGrader yourself. Or, of course, you can go back to the Kahoot after students have taken it and see the results there too. And then you can add your assignment due date here as well, but it's not necessarily needed if the challenge is going to end anyway. Click on Save and Publish, and now your Kahoot is ready to go. 
To add the Kahoot to your modules is very easy as well. We'll go into modules. We'll scroll down to where we want to add the Kahoot. My Kahoot is on the Kim Dynasty here. So I'd like to add the Kahoot in this lesson. So I'm going to click on the plus sign again, add assignment, and then I'm going to find the assignment that I just created. Here is our Kahoot. Click on the new assignment, add item, and you can see it adds it to the bottom. All you just need to do here is drag it and drop it where you would like it. Opening up our Kahoot, we'll see that it, the Kahoot has been embedded. We'll see the link to play it on another device in case they're not on the computer. And we'll also see the game pen if they need that as well. The Kahoot is ready to go and it's all assigned for our students to take. Well, we might need a little bit of a workaround in order to integrate our Kahoot into our Canvas classrooms. It's quite simple to do, and doing so allows for your students to easily access those Kahoots. Now remember, if you need any help getting started with creating your first Kahoot, please do check out our first video. As well, be on the lookout for more videos on Kahoot as we dive deeper into all the things that you can do with it. Be sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on those videos. If you have any questions or need any help at all, please do let us know in the comments below. We're happy to hear from you and happy to help out. Have a wonderful day today and have fun integrating Kahoot's into your classes.